Let's talk about NFTs and how you can, as a beginner without any coding experience, any art experience, and probably even any crypto experience, buy and sell NFTs for a profit. Now, this is a very important topic because NFTs have been selling for a record amount. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was an NFT that sold for over a million. And we have several NFTs that are selling for over six figures. And people keep wondering, why would anyone pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for digital art. Why not just download the art yourself? Why pay so much money and why are NFTs so valuable? In this video, I'm gonna quickly cover why NFTs are so valuable and why people will pay hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars for this digital art. And then I'm going to quickly explain how you guys can, as beginners, buy and sell NFTs for profit and make some money along the way. So if you are interested in NFTs and if you're interested in understanding how this all works, be sure to stick around to the very end of this video and I'll make this as short and as simple as I possibly can. Now, as always, quick reminder here before we get into all the details, be sure to one, give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. I post videos here almost every single day on topics relating to credit cards, crypto, bank accounts, investments, business ideas, the stock market, ways to make money and everything personal finance related. So if you like these types of topics, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe with the notifications on and that way you never miss the updates off when I post new videos here on this channel. So before I talk about how to buy and sell, let's quickly go over what is an NFT and why they're so valuable in the first place. So NFT stands for an non-fungible token. So let's pull the definition here from Investopedia. And here it says that non-fungible tokens or cryptographic assets on a blockchain with unique identification codes and metadata that distinguishes them from each other. Now, unlike cryptocurrencies, they cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalency. So to make this very simple, again, let's think about a crypto, right? Let's think about Bitcoin. If you had one Bitcoin, you could trade that Bitcoin for another Bitcoin and it would amount to the same thing. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are fungible because they can be traded, they can be replaced, and they can be exchanged. However, if I had a piece of art, let's say I had an artist paint my face, then that would be a non-fungible because it's one of a kind and I wouldn't be able to exchange that for another one because it would only be one. That would be the only one. So non-fungible tokens are basically just unique tokens that can't be duplicated. Now, if you're going to trade a non-fungible token, you have to trade it for something else. And in this example, I could trade this painting of myself for a painting of something else, but I wouldn't be able to trade it for another painting of my face because only one exists. So again, simply put, if you want just a quick and easy way to remember this, an NFT is simply put just a unique asset. It's not like anything else and it's one of a kind. Now, NFTs are stored on blockchains and the most popular would be the Ethereum blockchain or let's say the Solana blockchain. And this is actually very, very important. Now, this is important because you may be saying, well, Ian, if I see an NFT online and it's one of a kind, why is it that I'm able to right click on that digital art and do save as, download it to my computer and upload it to my Instagram or my Facebook or wherever I want. So the difference here is that the blockchain allows each digital asset to be verifiable as one out of one. So you wouldn't be able to clone an NFT because the blockchain wouldn't allow that. So this keeps the NFT unique as the NFT has a unique identifier on the blockchain. Now, the second important part of the NFTs being on a blockchain is that not only does the blockchain provide the NFT with a unique identifier, but it also verifies the ownership of that NFT. Again, if you were thinking that you could just go and download a photo of an NFT without paying for it, then the problem there is that the blockchain verifies the owner or who the owner is. And even if you copied it or downloaded it, you would not be able to be the verifiable owner of that NFT. So let's now talk about why NFTs are so valuable or why people are buying these NFTs. And actually, let's just look at a quick example on OpenSea. And this is an NFT of a pixelated Santa with an ax. And you can see that the current price here, it's going for over $1,000. And again, you may be wondering, why would anyone pay $1,000 for a pixelated Santa Claus with an ax that is probably not even that attractive, right? Now, why not just download this, upload it to your Facebook and problem solved. You have it if this is what you like. 
Now, again, the issue here is that you would not be able to be the verifiable owner of this particular NFT. Now, whether you like this particular piece or not, this is actually digital art. And just as how you would go somewhere and see a really nice painting or art piece, and you'll be able to pay for it and take it home, put it in your living room, invite all your friends over and say, hey, this is my painting. I paid $1,200 for it. It's mine. It's unique. There's only one of them in the world. That painting will have value because it's unique and you can prove that you own it. You have it in your house, right? So in the same way with the NFTs, because the blockchain gives it a unique identifier and it is one of one and it's also verifiable or you can verify that you are the owner, it will hold a certain value. So this is why people will pay thousands and hundreds of thousands and in recent times, even millions of dollars for an NFT. Now, another important reason why NFTs are very valuable. And I think NFTs are going to be blowing up in the future is because NFTs can now be used in games. You can create your own NFT, put it in games, and even create your own virtual world with your own NFTs. Now, personally, I think this is going to be the future of gaming moving forward. And I definitely see NFTs becoming more popular and also getting a lot of value in the months to come. Now, if you think about some of the most popular games right now, like let's say Fortnite, people can buy skins and other stuff in these games, right? Now, it would be the same as purchasing NFTs to use in the games. The reason why NFTs are also going to be valued at more and gamers are going to love them is because when they buy the skins in these popular games like Call of Duty or whatever they're playing, they will pay for the skins and they use the currency that that game uses. But once they spend that money and they make that purchase, that money is gone forever. However, with the NFT, you can create an NFT, you can use it in your game. If the NFT becomes more valuable, you can actually sell it later on for a much higher price. So instead of spending money in these games, which is gone forever, you are actually playing a game and you can think of it as making an investment while you play the games because you can sell or trade your NFTs from your game. Now, if you made it this far in this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And now let's move on into how you can buy and sell NFTs and make money. And the first thing that you need to do before you buy or sell an NFT is you need to set up a MetaMask crypto wallet because that's how you'll be able to purchase your NFTs. Now you could use some other crypto wallet, but MetaMask is the most popular and it's being used by everyone. So I would suggest that you use this one as well. So to do this, the first thing that you need to do is to go to metamask.io and you can download the extension for Chrome or whatever browser you're using, or you could do it on your mobile phone. However, I found it easier working on your computer, but the option is yours here, right? So you're going to download and you're going to install MetaMask for Chrome if you're using the Chrome browser, which I would suggest you do as well. So quickly, this is what you're gonna do. You're going to hit add extension. It's going to open a new window. You're going to hit get started. And here you're going to create your wallet. You're then going to be prompted to create a password which you guys should already know how to do and agree to the terms of use. And then you're going to have to secure your wallet. Now, this next step right here is very, very important. It's going to give you a secret recovery phrase. Now, this is something that you should not tell or show to anyone, absolutely anyone, because this is how you can get back into your wallet if you ever forget the passcode or if you lose your device or anything like that. So it's also recommended that the secret recovery phrase, which is just a bunch of random words, once you see it, you store it on an encrypted hard drive or some other storage medium that is not on the same device that you're using and be sure to secure it. Now you will be prompted to input the secret phrase in the exact same order it was displayed to you before and then you'll be all done and then you have access to your wallet. So here you can now buy, sell and swap NFTs. Now let's go back to OpenSea which has this pixelated Santa and now we can hit buy and it's going to prompt us to connect a wallet which could be a Coinbase wallet, but in this example, we're using MetaMask. So you get the pop-up and because you already installed the extension, it will pop up with the wallet that you have, or if you have multiple wallets, then it'll show you all the wallets here and you'll be able to choose 
which one you want to use to purchase this NFT or any other NFT. Now from here, you can connect to the wallet and you can pay for that NFT or you can sell an NFT. And by the way, I probably mentioned this before, but we are using OpenSea to look at the NFTs because this is the biggest or at least one of the biggest NFT marketplaces right now. So it's OpenSea.io. If you want to go there, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go there and check out some of the NFTs for sale right now. So that covers setting up your wallet and purchasing or selling the NFT. Let's now talk about how you can sell your NFTs. And the most important part of selling an NFT is that you want to sell them for a profit, right? You want to sell them for more than what you purchased them for. And so to do this, there are a few things that you can keep in mind when you're purchasing your NFTs that will help you or help to improve the chances of you purchasing good enough NFTs that you can later on flip for more money. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to purchase NFTs that are good looking. Now, this is kind of obvious, but remember, this is digital art. And so similarly, the same way how you would purchase art or purchase expensive art that looks good, you should only purchase NFTs that look good because if they're just something that somebody uh, rushed and created in just three minutes, then most likely they aren't going to be valued at a lot when compared to some other form of digital art piece that someone took several hours or several days to create. Now, I know when it comes on to looks, this could be very subjective, but you should be able to really determine uh, a crappy piece of art or distinguish a crappy piece of art as opposed to something where the details are very good. And you can see that this was something that someone really spent a lot of time on. Now, secondly, you want to think about the creators of the NFT. And similarly with expensive art, people usually tend to want to purchase it from renowned artists that are known for doing good work. And so similarly in the NFT space, you want to purchase NFTs that were created by verifiable people that have a track record of creating at least good digital art. Now, this doesn't mean that if an NFT was created anonymously or you don't know who the creator was, it's not actually a good piece of art or not a good NFT, but this is one of those things to consider as well. Now, the next thing is to buy NFTs from good projects. And so you can look at the community behind the projects and ask yourself, is this a growing community? Do they have a lot of people following them on Twitter and other social media? And that is also very important because if it doesn't have a very vibrant community backing the project, then you should probably opt for other NFTs in other projects that have thousands or even millions of people following them because the more people following, the larger the community, the more those NFTs will be seen and they will be perceived to have much more value and you'll have a greater chance of buying something that someone will pay a lot more for later on in the future. Also, you guys need to look at the white paper. What is the aim of the project that contains the NFT? Does the project have a map of where it begins, where it ends or what they're trying to do? You don't want to buy NFTs and then end up holding the bag because the project goes nowhere or there wasn't any clear plan for that project, right? You want to buy from a project that is clearly defined and has a clear goal that you can easily find in the white paper. Now, my final tip here is to follow all these successful NFT collectors on social media, on their Twitter, because these guys have been trading NFTs before anyone else was even interested in NFTs. And so I think if you follow them closely and the projects that they're going in on, this will help you to be successful with trading NFTs on your own. So this is how you can quickly set up a wallet and buy and sell NFTs hopefully for a profit and make some money. Or maybe you just want to buy NFTs for your own personal reasons for art, or maybe you want to use them in your games. Uh, whatever the reason is, this is how you can go about doing it. And guys, you should now have a basic understanding of what an NFT is, why they're so valuable and why people are actually trading NFTs right now. So with that said, I hope you guys liked this video. You found it helpful. If that's the case, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can find me on Instagram, a link down below in the description. Once again, thanks for watching. As always, all the best with making money, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.